Hi, this is Brock Tice with CardioSolve. Today I just want to show you our new model manipulation tool created by Robert Blake. It is really awesome and I'm going to show you why. This is a model of a rabbit heart. It's been widely used. It's based on the UCSD geometry for those of you who are keeping track at home. Got a right ventricle here and a left ventricle. And if we want to do a simulation with this heart, we're usually going to want to stimulate it. Apply little electrical pulses to get the activity going in the heart. And one way to do this is to pick out the points, load this up in a mesh editor, know the right uh, numbers for the different points in the mesh. Uh, another way is to specify dimensions of box electrodes, but you need to know the dimensions of the mesh and the locations at which you want to put the boxes, the upper left corner and the lower right corner, that sort of thing. We have an alternative now. All you have to do to put a, an electrode on the surface of the heart is grab and drag and system creates an electrode right there. You can name it, this would be on the left ventricular epicardium. You can change the size. You can even specify activation time. So this is going to be our initial stimulus. We'll leave that at activation time zero. A more common place you might want to pace from is the apex to mimic the normal activation sequence roughly of the heart, particularly when it's being paced with a pacemaker. So let's just add an electrode to the apex. There we go. Select this. Now we want a nice big electrode so it captures enough tissue to initiate a propagating wave. We'll edit this. Change this to 2,000 micrometers or 2 millimeters. Looks pretty good. I think we can even see this. No, it's not quite big enough to see inside. This is great, you say, sure. But uh, what if we want to place an electrode like a catheter that would be coming in from a pacemaker or a defibrillator? Kind of hard to place electrodes down in there. You could do it from here, but what if you could clip it? Well, let's just clip off the side of the heart so we can see pretty easily. This is a fairly large mesh. There we go. So it took a minute. Now what we get is this clipping plane, and we can just drag the clipping plane right about there. Let's rotate it. Move it out a little bit. Now we want to get it, this is a little bit of a tricky angle to get, but we want to get it so that we can see the RV, septal RV endocardium. It looks pretty good, I think. Move it forward just a little bit more. Ha! Huh, and I clipped it the wrong way. Okay. Pay attention to the arrow, Brock. There we go. That's better. Try again. The program's just doing the calculations to display. There we go. So there is the RV septal endocardium, free for the picking. And just place an electrode oh right here I think this is a reasonable place to say that we're fixing a RV pacing lead then when we're done we can export this protocol it'll give us a note of where the electrodes are and we have a script that you can then use to create all the inputs to our simulator and get these electrodes working for you So there you have it, the new tissue manipulator made by Cardiosolve and more specifically Robert Blake. Please feel free to contact us with questions about this as always. Thanks, bye bye.